Hello everyone, this is Corey Gaskell here, and uh, this is my response to Chapter 2 of Communities of Play by Celia Pierce and Artemisia. Communities of Play is an interesting book in the fact that it discusses research on gaming and society. Many of the concepts they discuss have really opened my eyes to how influential the idea of games and role play in society can be. I found it interesting that the avatar was an ancient Sanskrit meaning the embodiment of a god on earth. Sanskrit was the language of the ancient Hindu religion and they worshipped thousands of gods. This really got me thinking. The idea of being immersed in a different character such as role play or human play has been around since the dawn of humans. Many of the different polytheistic religions of the ancient peoples such as the Greeks, Egyptians, Mayans, and Aztecs conducted religious ceremonies in which humans would take the forms of the gods they worshipped and citizens would be given the chance to worship freely in the form of days-long festivals where the reality of the harsh daily life could be escaped if only for a brief moment in time. The Greeks even escaped into roles of comedy and drama. I look at my children who are six and three and they seem to have the ability to completely transform themselves into a role as Rainbow Dash or Darth Vader or whatever toy character they're excited about at the moment. It seems to me that humans have the deeply embedded innate need to leave reality and be creative. This is why the discussion of humans' relationships with their computer avatar counterparts really intrigued me the most from Chapter 2 in Communities of Play. I myself am an avid live music festival participant, having been to over 50 fish shows and festivals, 25 string cheese incident festivals, upward of another 100 concerts. These festivals give me the opportunity to let loose, dress in costume for days on end, and ultimately take on a role that I otherwise do not live in my everyday life. I never really thought of an avatar as an extension of myself in real life. But when I reflect on my life experiences, being able to take on another persona may have given me some of the most pleasurable and memorable experiences in my entire life. It's interesting to me that it is also applied by so many people in the gaming format. In past gaming experiences, I have been a quest gamer playing games in the ludic spectrum like Legend of Zelda, Mario 64, and most recently Assassin's Creed. Though I've loved these games, the avatars were not too customizable. However, this summer when I started to preview the Pediac world such as Second Life and Minecraft to prepare for EdTech 531, I again, just like in my real life concert roleplay adventures wanted to be something different than I could be than I could ever be in my real life um, as my avatar. In Second Life I immediately went shopping and picked out a mohawk and some crazy clothes and took the persona of another person that I could never be in real life. And in Minecraft I've tried everything from superheroes to Pikachu as my avatar. The cool thing is that the possibilities are endless and one could literally take on many different characters roles all wrapped into one ever present gamer tag which mine is Funkenstein. To me no matter if it's in a digital format or in real life gaming and role play is a part of the human experience. Thank you very much everybody have a good evening.